morning everybody um i wanted to take a few minutes this morning to talk to you all about worship um as most of you know i absolutely love worship and i love to sing and i love most of all when we all get together and we all sing and worship god together so i felt really gutted to find out that um because of the restrictions around COVID that when we meet together again we're not actually going to be able to sing together um, and there was a grief over that for me uh, for a time um, and I started to ask God um, to give me keys as to how when we move forward as, um, as a church we were going to be able to worship together and I felt God really speak to me about um, going back to the heart of worship and so I was reminded of, of the way that worship is talked about in the Bible and um, I just want to explain, I suppose, where I'm at with that. Um, so there are three ways that, that worship is, is used in the Bible. The first is a word that means submission, that is translated as worship. And that means our submitting ourselves, our hearts, to Jesus and to one another. And the second is service. So that is serving God and serving each other. And the third one is reverence, reverence of God and how great he is. Um, and those for me are the three things I believe God's saying are the keys to how we worship, not only corporately when we come together, but actually in our personal walks with God in our everyday moments. Um, God also showed me or reminded me that as a culture at City Life, we are creative, um, that we are often a bit different to other churches, um, to the way that other people do it, to the way they do it in, in the world, um, that we are prophetic, that we like to listen and we are responsive, we like to respond to what God's doing and saying, um, that we are includers, that we like to bring in family, children, old people, young people, people of different um, talents and skills, and that we are pioneering. And this for me meant really that we need to not be afraid to not be the same as other people. In fact, that almost that we that we're likely not to be the same as other people as we go forward. Not like is likely not to look the same. Um, so, with submission, for me that looks like the pause in. Uh, if anyone does Lectio 365, it's the pause in the pray. Um, it is about taking a moment to recenter ourselves, to submit our hearts to God, um, and to just give the day to God. It is about service. So when we make each other a coffee and we serve one another, we are worshiping. When we feed the hungry in our city, we are worshiping. And finally, reverence and when we get together i think that's going to be something that's going to be really great for us is that we can revere god and we can praise his name we can be creative and including and prophetic in how we worship and how we adore and revere who god is um, so one example of that for me might be something like using our creativity to take a psalm and rewrite it in our own words and actually using that to express our heart to God um, so I I feel like I really feel like this is the key that God's given um, given us as a church as to how we move forward in worship and I really hope that it encourages you that that worship is exciting it is about it's God's opening up all these possibilities for us to really get back and restore our heart of worship in a way that doesn't have to look like singing, it doesn't have to look like anything particular, but it looks like so much, you know, singing is really just a tiny part of what worship is. Um, and I can't wait until we do it again, and goodness knows I'm going to do it in my living room and I'm going to do it whenever I can, but, but while we can't do it together, I just feel like there's this breadth opening up before us of how we can express our worship and our love to God in submitting to him, in revering him and into serving him. So um, I hope that blesses you um, and I'm praying for us all that as we, um, as we move deeper into this that we get some real creative ideas and that we can share 
our ideas with one another um, and hopefully see each other not too, in the not too distant future and um, try some of this out together. So I love you all very much. Um, have a good day. Bye. Bye.